Hi guys, it's Ella, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Um, I've watched umpteen thousand booktube videos at this point, and it occurred to me that nobody has ever done kind of like a run through as to what a book signing looks like. And so to people that have never been, like me, just a couple of days ago, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I kind of like to know what I'm getting into. So I'm going to tell you about the book signing that I went to on Sunday. It was Marissa Meyer, who is the author of the Lunar Chronicle series. It was in Boulder, um, Colorado, obviously. Um, just a quick side note, if you're ever in Boulder, definitely go to the Boulder Bookstore. That's literally what the place is called, and it is amazing. It's huge, and it's almost like a maze, like the best maze possible. So much fun, so great, such a good time. Just go. I was there um, an hour early, actually, kind of by accident, and it was, it was such a great time. So, let me tell you a little bit about Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer is the author of the Lunar Chronicle series, which is a four book series of fairy tale retelling, sort of. Um, the way I like to explain the Lunar Chronicles, it's like a sci-fi series that is loosely, very loosely based on fairy tales. And the first book in the series is Cinder. Ooh, hey now. Cinder, um, and this book is about, it's, it's based on Cinderella, um, and it's based in the Commonwealth, the Eastern Commonwealth, I believe, New Beijing, um, but it's, Cinder is a cyborg, and she falls in love with the prince, and there's an evil queen, Queen Lavana, and she is the Lunar Queen. Um, she basically leads the people of the moon. Just so many, so much stuff happens in this book. Um, it really is great. Definitely recommend Cinder. Um, the next book in the series is Scarlet, and this is based off of Little Red Riding Hood. Um, Scarlet's grandmother goes missing. And so she gets a street fighter named Wolf to help her find her grandmother. Um, but it's not as simple as that. And Cinder's story also continues in this book because um, it's from multiple points of view. So you don't only get Scarlet. Um, and the third book that just came out um, a week ago, I want to say, is Cress. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And that is based on... Um, Rapunzel. Good lord. It's been a long day. Um, it's based on Rapunzel and Cress, um, whose actual name is Crescent, is stuck on a satellite, um, and she is a hacker, and Queen Lavana, who we don't like, she's the evil queen, um, Queen Lavana basically forces her to do any bidding that needs to be done as far as hacking or computers, anything. Um, so far, I'm, I want to say about a quarter of the book in, and it's really great. I am really enjoying this story. Some of the things that happen in this book are so surprising. Like, I could have never seen them coming. Um, the writing is really great. Marissa Meyer does a great job of painting the world and just establishing her world even though it is so different than anything else I've ever read. Um, I really enjoy these books. I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about the story, spoilers, any of that, reviews or whatever, because um, after I'm done with Chris, I'm planning on doing like a review book talk thing, so keep your eyeballs peeled for that. But, so we all got there. Um, there was seating set up, and there was... Um, little marketing things or whatnot on the chairs. Um, one of the things that I got, this is, I thought was super cute. And it's purple. I don't know why it looks blue on camera, but it's purple. And it's a Lunar Chronicles Cress comb. Cress, Rapunzel, hair, 
I thought this was so adorable. Super cute. Um, there was also a poster, which is huge, and I don't know if I'll be able to fit it in here. Um, on one side, it's basically a poster of just the Lunar Chronicles and Cress, and on the other, if you've read Scarlet, um, you'll appreciate this. This is the ship that Cinder and Captain Carswell are on. It's basically plans of the Rampion. Um, I thought that was really great too. I think I thought it was a you know a good idea just because it's so hard to picture that kind of stuff in your head I feel especially a spaceship like how are you supposed to really picture that um so visual well, visual aid is nice so Marissa Meyer um got there and the book signing basically started First with a the announcement of a contest winner of some sort, and then Marissa came out and she just introduced herself. Um, she talked about basically who she was and how she started writing, and then how all of these books and these ideas came to her. Um, she talked about how she's always had a love and passion for fairy tales since she was about five years old. Now, side note about Marissa Meyer. I think she is super adorable and just a good person all around. Um, she talked, I know that John Green's fans, whatever, are called like the nerd fighters, but I think Marissa really did a good job of basically making everybody feel that it is okay to be a complete nerd. She talked about being a Sailor Moon fan. She talked about being a, um, Star Trek fan. She showed us a picture of her in um, like a full cosplay outfit from Star Trek. It was amazing. Um, and it was just really great just hearing her talk about, you know, how all these books came to be and just her passion. You could just tell that she was very passionate about what she was doing. Fun fact about these books, all three of these books <clears throat> were written during one NaNoWriMo. If you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it's National Naval, National Novel Writing Month, and it's November usually, um, and it's, it's all over the world now, but basically it's people challenging themselves to write a $50,000 novel, or $50,000, 50,000 word novel in 30 days. And so Marissa wrote both the first draft of Cinder, Scarlet, and then I believe the third of Cress. She did end up scrapping both of them, but I still think that's pretty darn amazing. Three books, I mean, okay, two and the third books in 30 days. She wrote 150,011 words, I think she said. So that's crazy. Um, but that was really great. Then she basically told us a lot about the fairy tales, um, that she read and looked into before writing the books and she told us she had the audience choose which one we wanted to hear either Cinderella for Cinder, uh, Little Red Riding Hood for Scarlet or Rapunzel for Cress and so we listened to like the real fairy tale, the non-commercialized version I guess and so she just made you know, everybody see that it, there's more to the eye than Disney. Not that there's anything wrong with Disney. I'm a fan. But fairy tales, whole nother thing. So if you're interested, I would definitely look up some old fairy tales, like the original ones, because they're a little bit more brutal, I want to say. Anyway, and so she did a little Q&A at the end. It was really great. Um, I'm a fan. I just think she's so adorable. Um, that's why I drove an hour and a half to the book signing. Anyway, and so we all lined up. Um, she did have other items on the desk in front of her too. She had bookmarks, which I have, obviously. Um, and she also had some little postcards that you could grab. And this I thought was really cute. Um, the last book in the series, Winter, comes out in Winter of 2015, so next year, and Marissa Meyer had these buttons, and this one, can you see what that says? It says Team Winter. 
I couldn't help myself. It was so adorable. I just, I couldn't help myself. All right. Don't judge me. Anyway. And so I was actually pretty surprised because I thought that they wouldn't let me, or I wasn't sure if they would let me get all of my books signed. Um, I have four books in the Lunar Chronicle series, even though there's only three out. I'll explain in a second. Um, and so I wasn't sure, so I asked, you know, the person at the bookstore, and she said, yeah, that's fine, not a big deal at all, go ahead and bring them in. And so I brought all my books. I did buy Crest there because I'm a dummy. I should have just pre-ordered it, and then I would have been, like, done with the book by now. Anyway, moving on. So I have all three of these in hardcover, obviously, so I definitely wanted to get them signed. But... These are personalized, and so what I thought was super cute, every single book says something different. So Cinder, the first book in the series, says Once Upon a Future, which is really fitting, and I thought was really adorable. Um, the second book in the series is Scarlet, which says, Who's Afraid? Yeah. Um, <laughs> again, if you read the book, it's fitting. And then Scar or Cress says, hack away. Well, Cress is a hacker. It's fitting. And it's adorable. Just saying. Just saying. So, um, you know, we got all of our books signed, and I, you know, I got to the desk, handed her my books. I am the most awkward human being on the face of the planet. And so... When it was my turn, I handed her my books. I was like, oh, hi, how are you? She's like, oh, I'm good. How are you? I said, good. Dead silence. I am the most awkward person ever. What are you supposed to say to an author that's like signing your books that you, I don't know. I don't know. I just, awkward. 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 Um, but she was really nice. She definitely signed all of my books. Didn't even bat and I. Um, and so I did mention that I have four books by her. Um, so, <laughs> so if you watched my Harry Potter spell tag, you know that I have two copies of Cinder. Boom. Um, this is my hardcover copy that I got personalized and don't even think about it. Um, this is a copy, however. This is the original book that I bought. Um, it is a hardcover, but I went ahead and got this one signed as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I got this one signed as well because I would love to send it to somebody. Um, consider it a giveaway or whatever it is YouTube calls it. Um, but I want to send this book to somebody. It is signed. It is a paperback. It's used. I read it once, if that bothers you. Um, I do also want to send somebody the bookmark. I have another one. I got two. I want to share. Um, if you want to get a copy of this book, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, all I ask is that you be a subscriber. If you already own a copy of this book, I would love for you to, once you get this one, to just pass your copy on to somebody else. I'm a huge fan of doing things like that. Um, I have a couple other books that I have two copies of that I'm also going to be doing the exact same thing with. Um, basically, I just think that if you like a story and you want to share it with somebody, why not share it with somebody? What's wrong with that? I want you to have this and you don't need two copies of this book. So give it to somebody that doesn't have one, um, that maybe hasn't read it, um, that you think might like it. Um, so yes, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, she signed my books and then I drove home for an hour and a half in the fog in like negative three degrees. Good times. Um, definitely worth it. I had a really great time. Um, just the wide range of people that were there. Um, there were people there older than me. There were there, there were people there that were very young. I'm talking like single digits young. Um, it was definitely nice to see just because reading spans all generations and 
all everything. So if you have any questions or if you are also a fangirl of the Lunar Chronicles, you let me know. We'll fangirl together. Yeah. Um, also, if you want to get a copy of this book, um, I don't know how much na international shipping is, so I'm sorry. Let's just do national for now, or like the continental US, um, or just US in general, and then I'll look into ship international shipping for next time. Um, this video is getting long, like unnecessarily long, so let me wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comments below. Um, also let me know if you would like this book. Um, other than that, I hope you have a great night and I will see you soon. Have a good night. Bye.